What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today, I hope you're ready to flip some shit because we're about to flip some shit. I'm gonna give you a full tutorial on Serato Flip. So Serato Flip, this has got to be the most requested video I've ever gotten from you guys. I mean, I mentioned Serato Flip in a couple of my other videos briefly, you know, like talked about it a little bit and then just kept it moving. And every single time there was comments in the comment section saying, do a tutorial, let us know how you use it, all that stuff, like so many. So I appreciate the suggestions and here it is, people, we're about to dive in. Now, if you learned something today and you're thinking to yourself, wow, this really like changed my life. How do I pay Nick Spinelli back? Like, man, did that guy help me out? Well, it's simple. By hitting the like button below, you're gonna help my algorithms and help my channel grow so more people can see me, yell at the camera and whatnot, and it really would mean a lot. And if you wanna stick around, if you wanna see more videos, if you wanna know when I post a video, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified, and your smart devices will let you know. But anyway, I wanna start this bad boy off by explaining what Serato Flip is. So Flip is an exclusive Serato DJ Pro expansion pack. Wait. Oh God, here comes a virtual DJ, people. Virtual DJ can do that too, Nick. Like, where have you been? Like, did you really expect virtual DJ not to rip off every other feature from Serato and not rip off this one? All you gotta do is use your track cleaner, then install a routine pad, plug in, do 10 jumping jacks, restart your computer six times, and then you're gonna be able to do everything Serato Flip can do within virtual DJ, plus some other features that you really don't need at all that make absolutely no sense, but we put it in there just so there's a higher feature count, which essentially makes our program program better. So yeah, can't wait to read those comments later. But anyway, Flip is an exclusive feature to Serato DJ Pro. It's an expansion pack you can add for $39. It also comes for free with any controller or mixer that has flip buttons on there, like the SX2 or the SX3. You know, you, you get any controller that's like mapped for flip ahead of time, then it'll come with a code and you can get it for free. Otherwise, you pay 39 bucks for it. It's worth it in my opinion though, because man, can you do a lot of stuff with this. So this this is what it is. Flip works with cue points and it basically saves the way you trigger the cue points as metadata built into the file so that you can literally make custom edits on the fly with any song. Now when I say it saves as metadata, what that means is it saves within the MP3 file of the song. Like it saves the data of like the trigger cue points within the song. So you're not taking up any extra space. You're not making another song file for it, right? And your flip will also be built into that MP3. So if you use that same MP3 on Serato on a different computer, different hard drive, wherever, your flip will be available. Now saying this out loud, it sounds really confusing, honestly, and I totally get it. If you don't know what flip is, you never heard of this, and you just heard me, you know, describe it, you're probably like, what are you talking about, dude? Like literally what are you talking about? So what I'm gonna do to help explain it and drive the point home, I'm gonna give you real life examples and I'm gonna do three different scenarios on how I use Flip to do cool shit. And without further ado, let's dive into this Flip stuff. So the first thing you need to do, open up your Serato and you wanna make sure you have Flip installed. If you don't, go to My Serato. Under My Serato, you're gonna have some expansion packs here. It'll give you an option to buy it for 39 bananas. You buy it for 39 bananas, you go to My Products, you activate it and you're good to go. Make sure you're logged into your Serato account and all that stuff, obviously, as well. And now you got it. So you might have to restart your Serato, so do that, restart, come back. Once you come back, you'll see here that you have a Serato Flip icon. When you turn on this icon, it exposes the little flip uh, controls or whatever, and this is how you use flip, essentially. So this is how you use flip. The first step is you gotta have a vision. My vision is I have this one song, I think it's a banger, right? Totally think it's a banger. Fire, right? The problem is, is it only has a one bar intro. That's it. It just goes right in, no lube, nothing. Just bang, right? My vision is I want to make a four bar intro of this song, right? Like, a, like I'm going to loop it in the beginning. That way it's like a four bar. It's easier for me to mix. I know I'm going to be on point with it and everything. And then I just want it to go right into the song. So I essentially want to loop the beginning for four bars and go right into the song. Nice and easy. So that's my vision. The next step is you have to set your cue points to accomplish the said vision. This vision's pretty easy. All I need is a cue point right for the beginning because I'm going to be using this cue point to loop it. So I'm just going to go right over and over again. So all I need is one cue point and I'm good to go. For other flips we're about to do, right, you'll see you might need more cue points and stuff and we'll get into that a little bit later. So we got our cue points set. Now it's time for us to make the flip. So the first step of this is you wanna hit the record button here in your flip controls. That's gonna flash and that tells you that Serato Flip is ready to go. 
Flip doesn't start recording until you hit the first cue point, right? Once you hit a cue point, any cue point, it'll start recording a flip. That's how it works. And it, it, it's easier that way, right? So essentially you hit the button, it's ready to go, we're primed, we're ready. Now I usually bring the song back a little bit, that way it's kind of dead air, just makes it easier for me. And then I'll hit play on the song, and then once I hit the first cue point to like kind of like you know make it, it's gonna start recording my flip right away, and I'm gonna hit the cue point enough times where it makes a four bar intro, and then I'm just gonna let it go, and then it should be good. So here we go. Hope I don't mess this up. So we're gonna hit play. And let's try the cue point. And I like to play the song after I make the flip for like a couple bars, you know, just have, you know, wait, it, I don't know. It just seems to like register better that way. I don't know. So you play it for a little bit, you're good. Now we should have our flip. Now I'm gonna turn off loop. Um, that'll loop the flip over and over again. So from the point I hit the first cue point to when I stop the song, that's the entire flip recording. So if you have loop on here, it's just gonna loop it like over and over again. It's literally just gonna go back. Um, so you want to turn loop off that way it just does the flip in the beginning and then it just plays the rest of the song like regular right so let's see if this works so to test it out we're gonna hit the play button and we're gonna just play so you hit the play to set it up so it's ready to go for flip and then we're gonna play it and see how it sounds So I have a four bar intro to this song now. So now we have to save it. So you wanna save it here. It's saved automatically as flip one. You can see it saved. If you go over here, you'll see your flip controls and this is where your saved flips will be. So I'm just gonna rename this four bar intro. I'll just do four bars, cause it won't fit. Bam. And now it's good. So whenever I load up this song and I go to play it, right? Then it'll just play from the flip. Now I'm good to go, right? Now automatically the flip will stay on. So like if you have it on, if you leave it on when you go to load another track or whatever, you know what I mean? Then that flip will just automatically be on. If you don't want it to automatically be on, if you don't want that flip to always be on, if you mix it the other way sometimes too, then you just turn it off. And then when you go to like load it again, then it'll be off and you just have to manually turn it on. That's all. So that's how that works. It basically just stays on or off. The same thing with the loop feature, depending on like where you left it last, you know, just like VCRs back in the day, right? You know, if you didn't rewind it, it just stayed at the end. You had to make sure you rewind it. And it's the same thing with this. You know, you want to make sure it's either on or off depending on what you like. Now keep in mind, this little trick isn't just good for songs that don't have intro edits. It's also good for songs that do have intro edits. Cause think about it. Before I knew what flip was, when a new song would drop, I would go to my favorite record pool. I would download the album version of the song. I download an intro edit and I download like a short edit or whatever, you know? So you have multiple edits of the same song, depending on how you want to mix it, how you want to play it. Well, the cool thing with flip is, is you can take the album version of a song and you can make an intro, you can make a short edit, you can make any edits you want. So you're only keeping that one file because like all those flips save as metadata. They're attached to the original MP3. So instead of keeping three, four, five, six MP3s on your computer of one song, you can just keep one MP3 and have the flips attached to it and play it any way you want. So it saves space on your hard drive. So I do this a lot with songs I already have intro edits for just so I can delete the intro edits. Now moving right along to the next example, this is probably the most common way I use flip. And this is for special dances, formality dances, first dances, parent dances, that sort of thing when it has to do with weddings, any formality dance, this is so, so, so clutch for. Now if you do weddings, if you do any type of like formal events like that, you probably have, you know, come across a couple that's like, hey, we like the song, but we want you to shorten it. Or we like the song, but we want you to skip this one little verse, you know, whatever. They, they, they want you to edit the song. And, you know, usually I would have to go into Premiere and edit it in Premiere because I didn't know how to use Ableton. Then I learned how to use Ableton and then like I kind of do it there, but it's pretty hard and you have to like, I don't know, it's just, it's complicated. It's a whole pain in the ass. Why learn a new skill, right? Well, you could do this right in flip. It's a piece of cake. It's super easy. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So for this example, we're gonna use Ever So Sweet. Um, if you haven't noticed, I've been trying to use like deeper tracks because I'm not trying to get flagged on YouTube, but whatever, we'll see how 
this goes anyway. So we got Ever So Sweet, it's a cute little slow song, let's pretend this is the first dance song, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip it, so instead of going here to this first chorus, so sweet. I wanted to skip to the second time they do this, which is here. So sweet. Right, and essentially we're skipping this whole part down here, which is like uh, one chorus and this is like a weird bridge or whatever. So we're gonna skip like this whole section. We're gonna go from here and jump right over here to this yellow cue uh, cue point. So it's gonna be a shorter edit and it's gonna skip this whole bridge that our imaginary wedding couple doesn't want. So this is how we do this. First of all, I'm actually gonna turn on Quantize for this. This is another cool thing that you can use along with Flip, like use it to kind of like, you know, help you out. It essentially keeps you on point when you hit your cue points uh, based on the beat grid. So if you hit a cue point a little bit off, it'll, you know, fix it for you and make sure it's perfect. As long as your song is analyzed and it has all the beat grids set, it's gonna use those beat grids to make sure, you know, when you're doing the flip, it's everything's on point. So I'm gonna turn this on. Um, the Quantize settings are right here and I'm gonna leave this at one beat because I'm only, you know, I'm not stuttering it or anything. I'm only gonna use one beat so quantize will help us out with this one since it's a rock song too um so this is how we do it so we're ready to go i want to start it i have my cue point set the first one's going to be where the words start i want to start it there and then the second point is where i'm going to jump to so i have those two cue points set i'm going to bring it back past here right so i could just hit play we're going to um hit record so it's ready to go so it's blinking we're going to hit play and then we're going to start it here i just found a friend now the greatest part about this is we don't have to listen to the whole song. We can skip right to the part where we want to edit it. So I'm just going to skip right up here. Here we go. Bang. So we recorded it. Turn the loop off. We don't need the loop on. We're going to save it as flip one, right? So we'll just do uh, bride and groom short edit. Ugh. Doesn't give you, bride and groom edit, whatever. Okay, doesn't give you the room. Cool, so we have that on. So now, if we go to play the song, right, it should be good to go, right? As long as we have that on and we're good, uh, we'll play it. Just found so it starts here, we're gonna go right to the end again. Back. Work, baby, don't make me look stupid. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna work for some reason. And it skips there like for you perfect, right? And like like I said with the other one, you know, uh, it will remain automatic if you leave it on like this. That way like my sister doesn't have to worry about it, nothing. When we go to play the first dance song, it's gonna be ready to go. When you hit that first cue point or you hit play, it's gonna go uh, do the flip and uh, do that little skip for you. So we use flip to make an intro edit. We use flip to make a short edit and skip a part of a first dance song, right? So we, we made our own edits already. You guys know how to do that, we're good. Now let's like kind of uh, get creative with it. Now, because of the technology, if you understand like what's going on now, just think about it. You could do anything with it. I mean, the possibilities are really endless. They depend on you. I mean, there's plenty of ways you can use this that I probably never even thought of. And I'm kind of interested to see how you guys use it in the future or how you've already used so definitely put that in the comments. You know, I'm always looking for new tricks and stuff if you guys, you know, have a good idea. But for our little creative example here, I'm gonna use a song called Crime by Sam Gelletry. If you ever heard of Sam Gelletry, he's got some fire beats. Fire beats, like ridiculous beats. So we're gonna go off the whim here. Um, I made some cue points ahead of time for different like parts of the song, right? So like I have one here. Just with that, right? I have one here where it kind of like kicks in a little bit. A little piano. I have one where it goes to like a different pattern. Right, like it's like a different sound. And then I have one where like the beat actually starts, which is right here. So I wanna make a little remix. This song in general is a pretty cool song with different parts to it. So I figured I'd, you know, kind of utilize that to kind of open up your minds and show you guys what Flip is capable of. Now, before we even start, I wanna change the quantized value to a quarter. What should I do a half? We'll do a quarter just in case. So that's gonna help us keep on point when we're stuttering. If I wanna stutter any of these and do like a, you know, like do different like stutters, like it, um, it, it, it's smaller beat grids, so it'll help keep those on. If you have it just on, if you have it snapped on just like a one, you know, beat, beat grid, then it's not gonna keep your stutters on or whatever. So we're gonna change that to a quarter since we're gonna do some crazy shit. And uh, let's just uh, let's just do something on the fly. I don't know. It might come out like shit, but I, like like I said, it's just an example. Here we go. So I'm gonna record. Hit the record button. We got it playing. I'm the, 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 I'm the,
Uh, that's what I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stop this now. So we're gonna stop this now, and uh, we are going to save it. So let's save it as a loop. We'll just, uh, cool flip, or save it as a flip, that is. So we'll save as cool flip. So cool flip's turned on. We don't need to loop that. So let's just, uh, let's play it. Like, how cool is this? Anyway, you guys get the point. That was a great time. So, see how it was fun as shit, huh? You see how the possibilities are endless? Because just it's a matter of how you hit your cue points and what you want to do. I mean, you could do anything with this. So, have fun with it. Go all in, people. Use your creative minds. I'm really excited to see like what you guys end up coming up with once you start using this for the first time and stuff. And keep in mind, too, that you can delete all your cue points afterwards. Once the flip is saved, the flip will know, you know where to go or whatever. You don't have to keep those cue points in there. So, you just use the cue points just for making the song and then you delete them afterwards, which is super clutch. So I don't know. It's just such a fun feature. There's so many cool uses for it. I'm just excited to show this to you guys. If you're seeing this for the first time, I mean, use your creative mind, really dive into this. You'd be surprised with all the cool things you can do using this technology that'll make your sets, I don't know, that much better. A whole nother level. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments or anything we missed, put it in the comment section below. Let the people know, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.